so it works. No, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, Greg, how are you One, one way is to control it directly from the battery. Um, another way is to have it power directly from the capacitor, and the other way is to actually have the motor charge up the capacitor. So I guess we'll start by showing how the motor, which is right here, um, is controlled directly by the batteries, and we control it through a series of these switches. So we can connect this. And right now, our motor is being controlled by these two, eight, uh, two nine volt batteries. Now we can turn this off. Um, so we can also charge up the capacitor. Which, do you want to explain? Yeah. Um, so by spinning this motor, we are sending current into this capacitor. And after this is charged up, we can actually send this current back into the motor and run it. And this is the idea of regenerative braking. Charge this up right now. Make sure it's working. There we go. We're good. And that's about eight. So, so now, if we uh, now we can run the motor directly from the capacitor by flipping the switch. In which case, this rotates, and this is our basic proof of concept. And um, from here, we're going to try to go a little bit bigger, use no, um, four chairs. Four chairs. Four chairs. Four chairs. Um, and actually make a controller using our wheels. And yeah. Sweet. Thanks, guys.